Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo master run of this week's featured Nightfall, which is the Glassway. I nearly said Vault of Glass because that is the theme as this being my themed Nightfall. The theme is Vault of Glass. So I'm going to be using all Vault of Glass weapons. So I'm going to be using the Fatebringer. I'm going to be using Vision of Confluence and Corrective Measure. Now I should add, I'd done this run, I think Wednesday. So I'd done it before the TWAB come out. I didn't know machine guns were going to get a buff. It's not eating into that, although it will show you machine guns pretty good anyway. So you're getting to see all the the the, the rolls I've got on all the weapons I'm using, as I say, Fatebringer, Vision of Confluence, and Corrective Measure. But there is no uh, overload weapon in there, because Vault of Glass, like a lot of the raids this season, they don't support one champion, so there's not like a lot of auto rifles or SMGs in the raids. So we've got overload grenade on. That is how I'm going to be stopping. That's how I'm going to be stopping the overloads. So uh, again, as I've done with previous videos, I've got a thermal shock and I've got a void resistance with uh, elemental ordnance because we'll be be kind of eating into the elemental whale side of it. Anti barrier scout rifle, uh, bolstering detonation, so I get class ability back when I damage someone with a grenade. Very good for this because you take a lot of damage. A fifty percent acute burn is on. So. The whole thing about this run really is repeatability and safety. You copy the way that I'm doing this run, uh, you'll you'll do this run every time. Now you'll see here, linear fusion rifle ammo finder is not what we want to have on. I actually done this whole run without a machine gun ammo finder on, but because we've got uh, listen finisher on, every time I finish a champion, I'm going to get heavy, and this machine gun I think it holds about two two seventy. And it's a slow firing, you know, hard hit machine gun. So even taking the champions out, I didn't really burn. I never left myself. I think at the boss I might have, but up until the boss, I think I was always kind of, kind of okay uh, for super. So having a machine gun instead of a rocket launcher allows for, or even a linear fusion rifle, allows for a little bit more uh, damage output if I need it against enemies as well. So... Again, what I always do is I always, you know, you don't have to push over here to the left, but you're going to get some inv invisibles pushing you, and there is an overload up there whose shotgun seems to have a, a an identity crisis. It thinks it's a scout rifle, so it, he will peg you from there with, with with his version of the Lord of Wolves. So there's, there's always going to be a shank or two left here. So what I do with the grenade, you can see I'm waiting for him to teleport so I can catch him. And you can see the game was just doing that. It was moving him about and all the rest of it. But you've seen there how much damage a machine gun does. Now this is a master, and all, but this is a void weapon. So obviously we are getting 25% extra damage on that machine gun. Next season, if I remember correctly, that will be bolstered. By now, this is this is without a burn. You had the burn on the forty percent on top, so so it'll be doing fifteen percent more damage in normal activities, or or even if it's against the burn than that one was. Right? If you match the burn, oh, I don't, I don't even want to think about it. Go and farm some good machine guns. Make sure you've got one for each damage type. Uh, and while you're at it, get yourself some good adaptive, uh, aggressive rocket launchers that match the burns because they, they're going to be really strong. But I'm going to speak more about them in a different video. I'm hoping to get out tomorrow. So, again, what I'm going to try and do, because I've got a machine gun, I wanted I wanted the Overlord to, to go into the grenade. He didn't. So, he teleported way too quickly, but I've actually got these down here, which is, the minute you come off that ledge, uh, you can see there, he made the mistake, he teleported straight back into it, but then moved again. I was having a lot of this happen. If you step off this little ridge, you bring out the next wave of ads, which is a barrier, it's these drag. Now, I needed to get my grenade back, uh, so I, I had to pick up those, those, uh, those whales just to get my grenade back. So now what I'm going to do, I'm not really bothered too much about their grenades, I'm just going to, you can see it just eats away. And there you go, there's your champion down. The biggest issue about the barriers is the, and, and uh, man, let's not talk about champions. 
it's going to be a feature of something else I'm going to we're going to do. And I spoke about it. Well, the times I got asked about anything that wasn't uh, Crucible based, uh, I never really got a chance to speak too much about about what what I believe my forte is on the podcast. But uh, the times I did get asked about stuff like that, I I think I gave my opinion over on a Bontus's podcast quite well. Uh, about this type of thing, but again, we'll, we'll, that one deserves deserves a full conversation. It doesn't deserve two seconds in a nightfall video. So, uh, the, the thing about barriers, as I was saying, is they can shield enemies. Now, I think I think a lot of people will hear this and go, "Yep, that's what they're supposed to do." But because of the way this, the, the 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 ad spawns work, they can shield champions. You can do no damage to them. And you're taking your life in your own hands if you go and attack said barrier champion. Uh, but but the the overload will come before the barrier, obviously, and he will push it to you, doing damage to you, whilst you can't do damage to them. I hate that mechanic. I hate any mechanic where an ad can still kill you, but you can do nothing about it because you can't get to the... The, the ad that's causing that, that, you know, you can't get to the barrier or whatever it is that's causing the the the, the enemy that sh that's shooting you quite quite extensively. You can't get to that. So, uh, I mean, we'll, we'll, we'll just skip over the barrier overload unstoppable malarkey just for now because that deserves its own conversation. I'm utilising quite a bit. I'm utilising my grenade because... I always use weakening grenade because it almost applies. It's not really that much. I think it's like five or ten percent, but it applies a weakening weakening effect for a number of seconds to whatever the grenade hits. So it allows you to do more damage for a couple of seconds. Now I know that the problem with it is it takes twenty off your discipline, so it's kind of almost you could say very counterproductive. I am going to take a chance here because I've stopped this overload. But you see now, because because the grenade was on him, and I killed him while the grenade is on him. Again, another fragment that I always have active is uh, we'll just get one over off on big boy there. Uh, hold that for me, dude. All right, looks like he dropped the ball. It's all right. We'll forgive him. He had no face, so how could he see it? Uh, I justify that with what you get versus what you take away, so minus 20 discipline, especially on the Warlock uh, and the Titan that can regenerate grenade ammo quite efficiently. I, I take The way I see it is, well, it's not a big loss. If you're using Controverse, you're, you're getting that 20% back. If you're using the Titan and you've got, uh, and you've got uh, Chester and the Most Light on, you, you know, you're bypassing the fact that you're, you know, getting a 20% reduction. I'm, I'm just looking because I thought there was another enemy there, but it seems to be... There is. There you are. And the melee will take care of him. Just put the... I've got a high cal on my, on my scout rifle, so it kind of... High caliber, especially for, like, snipers and stuff, the cool thing about it is if you're getting crits and you're doing heavy damage, it, it just stops their ability to be able to hit you back. And when you weaken an enemy with your grenade... It not only applies a weakening effect, it also makes them less accurate. And I didn't realise that. It does actually say it in your subclass tree somewhere, I think. I definitely have, have, have read it somewhere. Uh, the machine gun's rocking 285 at the moment, so I'm not sure if that's the max. But I think I've got... In fact, I don't know what I've got in the machine gun. I know I've got subsistence at high impact reserves. So the... Uh, the last, what, 30% of the, the magazine will do more damage than the first 70 or 66%, whatever it is. So based off, what, is it 59 you get in the mag? So, what's that, 18, almost 19 rounds? So the first 38 rounds will be at something, the next 19 rounds. I'm just rounding it off, doing the percentage, something like that. So last 19, 20 rounds in the magazine will do more damage than the first one as well. Uh, again, all, all of this kind of is done roughly the same way, but if you, if you didn't see the other runs, then, you, you know, 
Basically, there's two versions of the ads here. There's one where you get Dreg, and there's one where you don't get Dreg. When you get Dreg, the vandals that come out where, where we were, where we threw a grenade, those vandals, they come rushing out, and there's more uh, trace rifle kind of vandals. If you don't get the Dreg, you get sniper vandals, and they don't come out as fast. But after, when you get to this point, the ads will always be the same from here on in. So I'm just kind of holding off till I get my grenade. I'm wondering, I think, I think, I, I can't remember now what he done here. We'll just toss that there. The range of the grenade for stopping a champion, as, you, as you'll see, it's quite substantial. So now, now that we took that overload out, this overload and the next one can be fun, it can be tricky. And I, I don't mean for taking down, that will always be the same. Uh, it can be tricky in respects if you're going for platinum. Sometimes, sometimes, one of them will fall off. He's like teleporting all over the place, you know, the way that overloads do, that we all hate. Uh, and, and he's just like, you know, twitching everywhere. And eventually, he will twitch off the map. And and, and if it's going to happen anywhere, it'll be here. Either the, the, overload, the, the, the overload that we just took, or this one. So he's going to walk right into the grenade. And I know the snipers are up on the left. I know there's a chance I'll get taxed while I'm trying to strafe. But once you stop an overload, especially when you're running, you know, you don't have a weapon for, for stopping overload. So you are relying on an ability. Uh, I, I, I will take the chance and just, you know, I'll do a bit of, bit of crucible strafage uh, as if I'm being attacked by someone with Aisha's embrace or something. Just like dodge left and right while still you know, churning out the damage on an overload because I don't want to have to stand and wait for my grenade to come back. So as you can see, this run, it, it's, it's going along at a decent pace. It's going to slow down at the boss because this isn't about me getting it done. This isn't that run because I'm not that guy. This is about me showing you guys how to get it done. You know, and I've already done a, I've done a Hunter solo on the Glassway. I've done a Titan solo with just, you know... Jungle book weapons, you know, bare necessity weapons. Uh, yes, that's a new one. I mean, people will be like, jungle book weapons? It, I, I don't know why I said it. It just, <laughs> it just came to me there. Uh, but this is, it, it's a bit of entertainment, but it's also, this is a wallop run. And that's what I'm going to try and do each week. Now, it's a good time to, well, while we're just, because there's, there's no explanation here. You're just going to take out the enemies and they come, one set will come from left. We took that out. Go to the other side, turn to the other side. I'm not sure whether I'm going to support all the GMs for the rest of the season. I, I did want to get Solo Conqueror, but I'm going to be honest, I'm getting a little bit bored of running GMs. Uh, and it's not because it's Light Blade and, you know, I ha I, I've given Light Blade a couple of goes and I've been to the boss and, I, you know, as I've already said before, I think the difficulty level in Light Blade is the burn and that's it. So, you know, I, we'll see how I feel if I get that because I seem to be really unmotivated to go in and do the last two GMs to solo them. I get to a point in the season that happens most seasons where I just get bored of doing GMs, you know, because you can be. I've seen some horror stories about like, like, but I think that's where it's come from actually. You know, people taking a hundred attempts that normally are pretty decent at doing them, and you know, people that are like speedrunners taking 50, 60 attempts to get it. I, I don't know if I've got it in me to constantly do something and fail, you know, 50 times. You know, so I just have to see if I can if I can get that mentality out of me then. Then we'll see. You know, I, there is a part of me that, you know, would like to just get it done. And, but there's another part of me that's like, have I got it in me to do 50, you know, 100 runs without getting it? So if... if if that's what happens, then I, I just want you guys to know it's not because I can't do it or, you know, I don't want to support that sort of content. It's because I'm taking a break from doing GMs. Now, with that being said, so that I'm, pre you know, setting expectations correctly, I will be doing ex the Fallen Saber regardless because I've already got it done. It's sitting there waiting to go up for the week, you know, the week after next. So it's not that I'm skipping a week. I've already got this one done. I've already got Exodus, uh, Fallen Saber, sorry, done. And I might do another one because it was I, I got it worked out. 
So we'll see what happens next week. But I'll definitely be doing a themed run. I'll definitely be doing a solo master run on it. So anyway, back to the run. We're all, you know, because because we're we're pushing a bit more now. We're not waiting for. In the previous runs, we stayed back and just pinged everything, or it pushed up with a uh, with uh, with supers. We had defensive supers. This time it's an attacking super. Remember, togetherness is on, so we're not getting my health back, which is why I'm being a little bit more, you know, uh, measured with my approach. You know, you can just run through this like, you know, She-Ra or something like that. You, you, there's no need to do it. You know, you'll get, you'll get your completion. And for all the nightfalls that are in the game, I'm not sure this is one that I, cause I and I haven't done it because I kind of clickbaity, you know. Quick way to get your nightfall run done. It's not. <laughs> it's, and if you are doing it quickly, you're taking a lot of chances to do it quickly. So it's not a repeatable farm. This, hopefully, will help people get completions to get some cool loot. But it's not a fast farm by any stretch of the imagination. I just want to say that because I, I've noticed a lot of clickbaity titles about this. Get your glassway done quickly. Look at how many times I almost died in this video. So it might be slightly quicker, but it's not a farm because you you can die just as quickly. But uh, you know, I I just wanted I just wanted to bring that up because I never do it in my videos, and it, it is an irritation when people do clickbait YouTube. But what do you guys think? Do you think they need to do that? Do you think that's that's a cool thing to you know to have a clickbaity title, or would you prefer the title to reflect what the video actually is? You know. Let's get your thoughts on that. So, here we are at the boss, starting with the same thing, and I think I'm going to be using a very similar strategy to the Titan, just because it's the safest way to do this. You know? Uh, I think the Titan... Uh, the Warlock's Grenade is obviously better than the Titan's. And, 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 and even though you can set them both up to last a bit longer and to weaken enemies and all that... <clears throat> the uh, Chaos Accelerant for I'm just gonna just get rid of my Nova. What it hits, it will hit. You know, uh, I'm gonna go up here and then over here. The Warlock Jump. A lot of people don't really use it correctly. The best thing with the Warlock Jump is it's not how it, it's really when you. So you've got the jump, and then you press your jump button again. As you'll know, with every character, you press your jump. And then you press it again to activate the boost, right? With the, the Warlock, it really is when you activate the boost. If you give it a second, you'll have less of a an upward momentum. Uh, so if you press your jump and then give it a millisecond and then press your, your jump again to activate the boost, you won't go up, you'll go forward. You know, and we're we'll just, I don't think I get this overload here. This, the problem I have here, the only kind of issue I had here was, until you get rid of, uh, until you get rid of the Transcendent Hydra, uh, you can't really push into that little place that I like to go to, uh, to take out the overloads, because he's going to be shooting you relentlessly. So now we're just, I'm just trying to get over here. This is the little place I like to go to take the overloads. And if you are getting hit, you just have a look. So I'm just going to burn a grenade just to kill those two there. And as you can see, the more enemies you hit and kill, the faster you get your grenade back. So any kind of red bar adds, we'll just jump over here, take them out. Now, I've almost got my grenade. We're going to entice a bunch of overloads over here. There we go. I'll just charge my grenade and throw it down. I don't have to jump over, although I should have jumped over because he just about gets away. So it's a waste. I've got my grenade back. That's the problem when you're in this this little zone here, which put well, well rough down. You need to jump over this little bit of invisible wall to get over here so that you can actually just charge our grenade and this is going to be one overload out the way 
And there we go. And we've got our grenade straight back. So that's what you've got. When you're here, where, I'm, where I am now, you cannot... There's an overload there, as long as he doesn't run away. We've got him stopped, and I can shoot him through there. And the grenade's still on him, so... You know, as long as the grenade, grenade is on him, uh, we're still damaging him. So there's a couple down. So now we want to see where... When you're at this point, I mean, we can see now that the ad that's below me is actually below me. There he is. And... Excellent that he teleported. He's not getting a chance to get away. We'll finish him, get some heavy. And now, I think that's another overload. So, yep, he's teleporting. So I'm just kind of playing Ring of Roses. But I can jump up here. And... I, this is brilliant. It's a brilliant other little place where... So, the place up top where, where we've been, is that's really good for uh, being able to entice them out. And when the when the chickens come out, when the go-go dancers come out, just throw one over, which done a decent bit there. And then as soon as the grenade comes out, be very careful here, as you can see. I thought I'd have been kind of safe here. I'm safer up here, next to the, on the stairs here, taking them from a different place. Just toss a grenade on them, which puts the weakening on them. And the Warlock grenade, obviously, does a lot more damage because the Chaos Accelerant hits harder, lasts longer. And now I'm just putting it on them. There's no need for me to go running about and, you know, I could go and attack as soon as they come out, but this isn't about getting this done quickly, which is why it's not a farm. Uh, this is about getting it done repeatably and safely. So now we've got Chicken City. We just we just want uh, we just want to entice them over. Now these are more. These, this is where the danger comes in because when they hit, they are unrelenting in their hits. So what we're going to do is just keep jumping up. We'll just put that in because we want to get the Ascendant Hydras out of here. The Ascendant Hydra. There's only one of them. Uh, we want to get him out as quickly as possible. Now, remember, this kind of... That's like a, a bag of server eyes. Make sure that that's blocking the damage from the one side when you're up here. Because if not, that's what you're going to have. You're going to have this sort of thing happening with with the, the Wyvern. And, and even even the harpies that do void can can hit you from over there relatively easily. So always put down your rift. Now I'm just looking to see what's about. Now I said this before in the previous video, and and, and I'll reiterate it here. We just there we go. I just wanted to activate, you know, checking little over there, and you can see there. I mean, they really do when they hit. They don't, you know, it's 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 a hit you don't forget. There we go. Put well, we're rough down now. We can be a bit more active. We've got two more wide ones coming out, but as you can see, when 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 you're doing this stuff, I just see this wide one and all of his friends over there, hitting with a lovely grenade. Just kill the wide one. Kill one of them, and it's still. Still chewing away on, I think it was the harpies that were over there. But as I'm as I'm saying, you can see up in the left-hand corner that uh, the radar is pinging enemy all around us, right? There's my chicken. There's one of them. I think I've only there. Yeah, we've only took two down, so there's still two up. So I'll drop that over there. Get our rift down. When when you've got two versions of this, you've got the light kind of faded red. And you've got the bright red. The bright red signifies that the enemies that are there are on the same height level as us. They, where, where we are, they are standing on a level same as us. So they're the barriers. Because they're outside. They're standing on, on uh, ledges outside. So the the kind of the kinda enemies that are faded, they're on the floor. So if they're on the floor, they're around you immediately. They're in the room with you. You know, well, that's the way I'm looking at it. We'll just hopefully take chicken, the chicken there. Uh, 
So when I see faded on the map, I know that there's enemies in the room around me. And I'm just, what I'm trying to do is keep an active, you know, an eye on when we take this high, this wyvern, that should be the fourth wyvern. There shouldn't be any more. And he manages to get away. So, he's still over, ah, uh, hit that. You, you can throw it over there, but you've got to throw it in between from about here. So, what I'm looking for is, a, is an angle. Got a melee on. He's not got a lot left, if I'm being honest. And there, we won't, won't get rid of this Transcendent Hydra as well, because he's just going to keep pinging us. Once we get rid of the Transcendent, he'll go away. Perfect. And then, and then what we've got left is four barriers outside. So, we want him to push out to try and get the kill on us. We don't have any heavy, but he, do he doesn't have a lot left. And these harpies, if, if you keep pinging them with... There he is. He's got to be careful. I want to give him something to look at, but I don't want to give him something... I want to give him something to notice, but I don't want to give him a target that he can just stand there and hammer, because they really, really do hammer. So I've got my grenade back. I'll just toss it down. There's two. There's two. Uh, there's, there was two harpies there. So now there are no wyverns. It's just champions. I actually can go down. I'll just toss that. That's another two harpies. Now harpies do void. I don't have heavy, which is why I didn't straight away run down. Because if I've not got the ability to take these, their void damage will really hurt. I do have a grenade now. So I know that this is why I jumped up here. I jumped up so that I could I could see what was around. So anything that's on ground level that's in front of me is in the room. Everything else, probably going to be champions. So I've got heavy on the floor here. So I should reload my heavy. I'll just... I want to get rid of a champion as fast as possible. There's a barrier gone. And I'm hoping there's more heavy on the floor there. Didn't even have to finish him. I'm hoping because... That, that, I, think it's, I think it's just me and the champions. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to... I've got two there, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hit both of them. And then what we'll do is try and use the angle to take one of them out of the equation so one of them can't see me. And there we go. There's one champion dead. We know there's a champion up here. There he is. And that means this champion over here is isolated. But because I went over there, I've spoke about this many times before. I'll go and get this heavy while I'm, while I'm here. Just jump up and uh, try and uh, there we go. We've got we've got one more in 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 the in the, in the grenade. So we'll, we'll then switch to heavy just to get the melt. Now, if we can break this this champion shield, we might be able to get a finisher. We need it. There we go. Now that's all the ads down, and we're back up to having, what, 170 rounds or something, 175 rounds. Now we've got Belmont, now we're back to, this is phase three, so we're back to having overloads. Now I'm going to try and get up here and let the ads see me, and that will bring the overloads in here. Now with the Vex, you really have to be kind of careful because of how fast they teleport. And yeah, I've spoken about this before, this hive mind uh, thing that goes on with the Vex. If one of them see you, they all see you. They're very interconnected. So you really only need one of the ads to see you. But they, it, sometimes it's not enough for them to see you. They've got to shoot you or shoot at you. You know, they don't have to expressly hit you, but they have to shoot, shoot at you. This is another kind of technique that works quite a bit if an ad isn't playing ball. If you shoot the ground or shoot in the direction, uh, you'll normally find that 
that that will entice enemies out of their little their little uh, little area at you. Now, in some places you'll have seen that there. In some places you cannot put your rift down. I was trapped there. Won't let me put my rift down in this little area. So I'm gonna just go over here. There we go. Got the rift down. I just wanted to see if I could hit that overload there. You've got to be careful, especially when Belmont's there. Not just because he's hammering you, which he will be. Uh, just get the stop on the overload. As you might see it here. If Belmont comes back, see how he's went on? He's went, uh, he'll block the shots with his shield. So now I've wasted my grenade. I've got to wait for my grenade. He's just might have seen there to the right. I've got... A whole heap of uh, got a whole heap of exploders here as well. Really close to dying now, and and it's because uh, that because I, because Belmont had a clear shot on me. The overload and Belmont were just like pinging me from over there. And we've got our overload here. Now we might be able to just toss a grenade down there and just about get the shots off on them. And that's two overloads down. And just about got my grenade back. And I've got my rift. So as you can see, I'm not burning the rift just yet. I've only got two overloads out at this moment in time. And the reason for that is I haven't done any damage to Belmont. Now, I've activated Devour. Because my melee will do that as well. So it'll, it'll allow me to just stay down here and get the pingage on. Clear these exploders. These uh, fanatics. And make sure it's just me, me and uh, Belmont. So we want. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep doing the thing where I bring Belmont over to, uh, over to me over at the main stairs. I'm just looking to see if there's any heavy. I don't have a ton of heavy. So I'm, I'm, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm, I'm weakening them with the grenade, and then Nova time. How much damage did it do? Not quite enough to get the next wave of overloads out. Close. So another thing I noticed, and you might see it here. I don't know if I'd do it here. Uh, I think... I think I can shoot through his shield with the scout rifle. But I can't with the bolt. thought that was really interesting that anti-barrier bolts didn't go through his shield... Uh, but the scout rifle seemed to. So now, again, back up here, we're going to have a bunch of enemies. Usual, I'm just jumping up. Uh, I, I think I've said this before as well. Ads are a lot more uh, aggressive towards you based on audio. So if you're jumping and you're boosting, boost jumping, that'll activate the ads as well. But... If they're in, so for me, and this is just my internal uh, name calling type of thing. Uh, for me, that the 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 ads have got two versions of they've got two different types of movement. They've got sentry movement where they patrol an area, and then they've got aggro. So when you aggravate them, they will. That's when you can draw them out of a position into a position I've just got to come down because it looks like the overloads are kind of stuck in one place so so what I what they're in now is sentry so they won't come past a certain area now that should kill some of the, the goblins I just had a little look there I'm not going to come right up because it seems like from experience yep the overloads are over there so what we're going to do is just toss that there and just melt this overload and the other overload ran straight into straight into the grenade now we've no, we know we've got an overload but where is he? there he is, now I'll put the grenade on him that stopped him again because there was enough time had passed I'll finish him enough time had passed 
I never, I never actually got the heavy from that. I think, I think the heavy landed outside. No, I didn't actually get any heavy from that. <clears throat> and, and this is something that's happened to me before. I think the reason I didn't get any heavy from that is because the grenade was on them, and sometimes, even though you're shooting at, shooting at them with weapons, the the it, it counts that you died. Or you killed them using the grenade because the grenade's still hitting them. And I think that might have happened there if the grenade's on them. Now you can see there, I actually have tried this with a bolt and couldn't just get rid of him. And <laughs> that ad has made up for it, the, the transgressions of the champion. Thank you very much, Goblin. Uh, I'll just, I can put a ref down if I need it, but I'm going to try and ping a grenade. Once we get rid of Belmont, the next wave of ads that's going to come in is going to be... Uh, obviously, we're going to have the the Transcendent Hydra. I, I, I can't remember if this is the... I think this is the second wave of Overlords. Yeah, he's he's gone now. Got him to take these heavy. So, <clears throat> I'm just going to throw my Nova and see what we get. We got a wyvern right off the bat, and we got some goblins. So we've got one wyvern who's probably either going to come from mid. There he is. I want him to move in and see what. There he goes, and I'll just put the grenade on him and then drop a rift straight away. So we've only got one. This is the only wyvern we've got to worry about. So I'm doing this jump up thing. There we go. Both wyverns are dead. Right off the bat, there's the transcendent hydra. Uh, I'm going to put the grenade on him. And see if that will melt him and anything else that's there. It might not melt him, but I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just, you know, I've got my grenade back just about as well. And remember, Belmont, uh, the Transcendent Hydra looks like he's just going to stay there. I don't want, I don't want to burn all of my heavy, you know, because we've still got two, two, uh, two high, two uh, chickens to come out. As I've already said, the two strong red bar uh, enemy... Uh, there we go, as a chicken. The two strong red enemy notifications on our... On our... Uh, tracker, on our radar. They're obviously the champions. They're strong red because they're... They're, they're, uh, on, uh, they're on a, a, a level that's the same height as what we are. They're, so we now we can see both chickens. And there's one dead, so we'll put our breath down. See if we can take this goblin and stop him shooting at us. As, where's the other ch chicken? There he is. So I'll put a grenade on. Now, the good, the good thing about the Chaos Accelerant grenade as well, I might not have spoke about that in this run. It grabs enemies, but it also has a magnetic effect. Just throw my, my melee, see if that hits him. So it has a magnetic effect. And he got a big hit on me there. I've almost got my my rift, so it wasn't it wasn't worthwhile. Uh, can I get a grenade out there? Yes, but the minute I threw my grenade, he came straight back. So waste of a grenade. But I've got I've got I've got my uh, my heavy. I've got you know that's all I needed. The barrier there. Now we're gonna have a look and make sure all the little red bar ads are down. Yeah, so. The, the based on how, as I've already said, whether it's shaded or thick, that will tell you then, uh, and what you know, what location the enemy is. So because I could see a lot of really thick, uh, thick boys, uh, thick, <laughs> thick red, thick red markers on my mini radar, I knew uh, that they were the, they were the champions. So now, literally all we've got to do now is break, you know, is take these barriers. Uh, and I've got enough heavy. I don't, because I've not put a grenade on, I'm not going to chance. Uh, I'm not going to chance being able to just melt them. Because the weakening effect of the grenade is really what allows me to melt them. And, and imagine next season when they get a 40% damage increase. It's going to be proper melted, so make sure you get yourself good. I, I would always go for 
uh, a damage perk. Me personally, and you don't have to, but what I'll be going for is a damage perk. Almost in every every uh, grenade launcher uh, uh, machine gun that I'll be going for, I'll be going for a damage perk and uh, auto loading holster. Especially if what I want them for. That was unfortunate that I didn't reload that. So I'm going to try and... I was going to try and get my grenade to hit him. No, I just make sure I'm reloaded. And I put put on what I've got left of my machine gun. And I've got nine shots. That's enough to break his shield. And now I could actually go up and finish him if I wanted. He is moving slightly back. I, I'm sure five shots is enough. Just. I could go up and finish him for heavy. But, uh... No need to do that. Now what we've got to do, and I've spoke about this as well before, because of where Belmond is, uh, because he's there, that's where the champion will be as well. Now because I went and activated him, him and, see there, I got my grenade on him this time, but I have no heavy, so it's all going to be scout rifle. Belmond, uh, if I, because I'm on the left of this corridor, he uh he's closer to me if he's you know straight through the wall on the left so if i come out of, of this channel in front and because i wanted the the barrier come out of there he sees me he will come here he'll come to act because wherever he thinks you are he'll obviously move to that that place but if i then push back to where we were taking the barriers from it's i'm actually closer to him where he is now so i'm just gonna have a look see if there's any heavy no heavy. So, going there will activate him, right? And because I've moved over this side, uh, because I want him over this side, he'll now push over here. But in that channel where we're taking the barriers from, if I activate him and then I go to the left-hand side of that channel, where, where, you know, closer to him, he'll move away from the middle and go round to the stairs on the other side. Because he'll go to the closest place, and he's closer on the left than he would be through the channel out the front. So what I'm going to do now is just grenade, Nova, big hits, you see there. And now you get to see that I can actually shoot straight through the barrier. If you're not, sometimes he does this, and sometimes it can be really annoying that you're still shooting at him. And he's like having none of it, and he'll just run away anyway. But so yeah, scout rifles can shoot through the heel, but bows won't getting through. I thought it was very interesting. Maybe it was just the bow I was using, or maybe I didn't notice it was going through. But it didn't seem to be. Throw another grenade. We've almost got it done. And there you go, guys. That is the Vault of Glass themed run for this weekend. As you can see, I got all the goodies and got platinum. Uh, I'm really enjoying this. Uh, I'm really enjoying this theme, uh, doing these themed runs. I'm not going to be giving this up anytime soon. This is going to be a reoccurring video every week for the as long as as long as Destiny's here. Uh, and I'm hoping to start a new series of videos, and that's why I haven't spoke about some of the things I wanted to in this one. I'm leaving them for the new series. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I certainly enjoyed making it. Take it easy, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you in the next video.